Hey everyone, and welcome to Explore Your Roots. Today I want to show you and talk through some tips I have for restoring old pictures and photographs. So old pictures are just great. They can show us what people used to look like when they were little or a long time ago. You know, they can maybe show us what a place used to look like. And there are a lot of really cool things you can learn from old pictures. Unfortunately, some old photographs just don't age very well. But luckily for us, there are some neat tools and tricks that can help us uh, restore them ourselves. So there are a lot of cool tips and, and tools that can help. And I'm definitely no expert myself, but I want to show and talk through a few that I like to use and how I use them. So I usually use Photoshop, which I believe requires a subscription. And today I want to talk about a tool in Photoshop that I like called the patch tool. So this picture here is actually one that my mom sent to me of my grandma Joan Johnson when she was little. And as you can see, uh, you know, there are some creases and other stuff that hopefully we can mend and try to fix uh, so the, this picture can, can look a little bit nicer. So I start out by duplicating the image. So if you want, you can hit Control J and you can see that that just pretty much created a new layer or duplicate. And that is helpful because you can toggle the eye back and forth uh, and look at the original picture as you go editing to make sure that you're keeping consistent with some of the details. So the patch tool is in this menu right here. So I think it starts out with this, uh, with this spot healing brush, but if you hold down on that button, you can come down and click patch tool. And up here, you can see the different menu of settings that you can hit. Uh, we're just gonna use the default settings for all of this. So we're gonna start here uh, by fixing some of these creases. I usually like to start from the outside where there's uh, maybe less detail and work my way in. So we'll start here by zooming in or Alt, if you hold down Alt and you can, uh, you can scroll in. So let's start here with this crease. So basically you're going to draw around the crease where you want. And then you're gonna click and hold down and drag and then you can let go. Another thing that you wanna look for is some of these details. So if you look at this black bar here on the left, uh, you can see it moving as I move this, this uh, oval shape. So if you wanna kinda of line those up a little bit, uh, you can also go back and, and maybe fill in some of the rest of these details and try to get them a little bit better, depending on your taste. Um, and, and who knows, you may want to leave some of these outside phrase uh, to give the image character so if you see you know some artifacts from the the patch tool if you want you can come up here and drag it and we can come and and clean up some of these other little spots if uh if they're bothering you or if you want to take care of them whoops and see right there what i accidentally did is uh i made that bleed over if you want you can hit Control z and you can hit it twice and it'll undo uh the last thing you did there we go one and fix that and if you hit control zero it'll take you back to the entire image if you want to get a, a bigger picture so let's come back up here Okay, so there, we basically have the background. So now let's kind of zoom in and start working on the hair. And there, we got the hair. I think that's looking pretty nice. If you want to come over here, you can toggle the original and the new one to kind of see how things line up. So let's keep going on the face.
And there you have it. Maybe not perfect and definitely a bit amateur. And, and it's not all the way done either. Just kind of the first half of that. But I like it and I think it works pretty well. And thanks again for tuning in today. And if you like this tutorial, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on some other techniques you like to learn. Subscribe to us on YouTube and Apple Podcasts, and we'll see you next time.